Okay, dokie. Okay. Um, I have had a few requests to play this uh, or teach this um, Sonny Condell song. Let me start again. Okay, welcome. Uh, ever since I done Eyelids Into Snow from Scullion, some people in the comments have asked me for uh, Down in the City, a Scullion tune written by Sonny Condell. And um, I promised that I would do it. So here it is. So let's start. It's, uh, it's played in the key of D. Okay. And your low E string is tuned down to a low D. So if you're here, you're going to tune that down to D. And if you play the other D string, you can hear when they're ringing uh, an octave apart. You see? And you play a D chord. So the, the essentials of this tune are as follows. So he's playing a D shape here, which is um, first finger on the fifth fret of the A string, your ring finger here on the seventh fret of the D string, and your pinky on the G string on the seventh fret. So you play, it's like a power chord. And um, uh, at certain times during this tune, he's taking his bring the finger off of there and playing the whole thing. Now, uh, this version I'm going to show you is the acoustic version that has been done. And there are several videos on uh, YouTube where you can see him playing this uh, live. And I've lifted everything he's done. So everything is pretty much as is, uh, as Sonny Condell would play it on the guitar. There's several guitars playing on the song. But uh, this is... This will give you an acoustic version that you can do on your own, okay? Uh, the rhythm is Eyelids in the Snow rhythm. So he's always playing this. Uh, Now on the album he's got um, chorus and other effects going on and it, on, you can see on his videos that he's also using a guitar synth. He's got a synth hooked up to his acoustic. So he's got these other background noises going on, um, these pads and bells and things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play along with the, uh, the album version of it and I'll, I'll be stopping it and showing you what he's doing. Okay? So, there. It's going to start there. So that chord there is uh, you're just your your pinky and, and your is on the D string on the seventh fret, and your ring finger is on the the seventh fret of the E string, yeah, and you're muting the A string. That's not ringy. So if you've got that's me playing it without the ring finger there. matter with whether you play that note or not you won't recognize it in the whole chord the whole verse goes through that da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. spending my time with you Then that goes through the whole verse. When it goes to the down in the city part, it's going to a B minor. So if you're playing it in straight chords, you would just play down in the city, you know, like G C D. If you chose to play it just straight, um, if, if it's a bit too awkward and you're not used to playing with drop D, you could play it like that. But it goes to a B minor here. 
So instead of the B minor shape like that, you would just take these two fingers and throw them onto the low E string and A string, like that, you see? Can you, oh, sorry, yeah. Because you've got to raise that low note to make it the B. Then he goes to a, a, a G. Yeah. Minus eight, sorry. When the, this G is played like uh, your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string, muting the A, your finger will kind of naturally mute the next string just by being there. You just lean it over a little bit and you don't get that A string, open A string ringing. Then you have basically your pinky on the fifth string of the D. Second finger on the G fourth, first finger on the third. Okay. And sometimes he'll play that just with those three strings here, where he's using the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky, playing five, five, five on the low strings. And there as well. So that happens a couple of times. So, so when you go down in the city, down in the city, you know where the find me part goes. Now this is tricky. I had to watch him a few times just to get this right. Um, he plays this uh, with two up strokes. Yeah, so that means you're pulling your, your plectrums coming up from the high strings to the low strings. You're not going. He's going. Whew. Yeah. Down in the sea. the wrong chord there. It's a force of habit of playing a D like that. Yeah. Down, in the, uh, down in the city, you know where to find me. Down in the city, you know where to find me. When you're playing that in rhythm or faster, it will naturally follow that you'll get back into the groove. But if you're playing that down in the same rhythm, it just doesn't work because you're throwing some extra beats in there that don't work. So it's best to go ba ba, and that's what he's doing on the live version. And then these are the these are the two parts where he's playing these. I'm up on the top floor is three 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 on the. Bottom three strings, yeah, three fingers on, yeah. I'm up on the top floor. I'm up on the top floor. Da -da 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 -da. So that's the two up strokes again. Yeah. Next comes the little. Jig part, so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He starts by going. That little tag on the end. So he's playing. Or they look G. I'm not quite sure, but uh, you hear it. You hear it. Feel it flowing when you start playing it. 
And the, the melody notes are... So that's uh, on the A string five then uh, fifth, five, five fifth fret uh, then seventh fret then make your pinky then cross over to the D string on the fourth fret fifth fret to the seventh and pull off then the same again between the fourth and the seventh fret on the D string with a low D so you can keep playing the same rhythm you don't need to change the rhythm uh, when you're when you're playing it. Just keep that rhythm going and play the melody over the top of it. You can basically just you're basically sticking to the, the lower three four strings when you're playing that. Now that section is uh, it's very straightforward. He's playing, uh, it's your, your middle finger and your ring finger is on the 11th fret of the E string, and then your uh, ring finger is on the 11th string of the D string. And once again, the A string is muted. And you're sliding that shape from the 11th to the 9th, to the 7th, to the 5th, to the 4th, to the fifth, to the seventh. And then this point he goes st straight up into a, a full D chord. goes up to a G which is played like uh, uh, first finger on the third uh, fret of the first string first finger barring those barring those two that's the third fret of the, the, the B string then open open and then your pinky and uh, ring finger are playing the fifth and the fifth on the A and the, 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 the low E string so after you go There's a little walk down where he's going. He's on the G and he goes. So that is from five on the low E string. Four, two, open to the D chord. Back in. Down the city. 
<laughs> okay, that's it. What happens there? Towards the end of that song, there's um, he goes into a, a section where the guitar is playing and there's other instruments playing. When he's playing a duo, it's obviously just a, obviously just another guitar, but he's he's only going between these two chords, which is a a, a D shape. But you're playing it on the seventh fret, which is a G. And a D major seventh, so that's first finger on the fifth fret of the E string, your second fret on the seventh of the B, and then your middle finger is on the sixth fret of the G string. And he's only going back and forth between them, sometimes he's playing. Then there's a lot of stuff going on there on the, on the album version, and then it comes back into. Now at the very end of the the the, the song, it goes. I think it's my time is up or something. He's singing, and uh, that that goes from at that point you take this finger off, right? So you've got only this chord ring. Then you slide the whole thing. My time is up or gone, and. You slide it all down two frets. Then down one more fret. But don't play the B in the E string. Don't play them, only play. Because if you play the E in the B string, it's going to sound bad. Especially at the end. So what I'll do is I'll just play along with it and you can, uh, you can watch what I'm doing. I think I've showed you everything in there. If I by any chance come across something that I've not, show, that I've not shown you, I will stop the tune and just um, uh, show you what it is. But I think everything's included. Let me just play this thing. By the way, remember on his acoustic guitar, he's got a, a lot of effects. It's going to sli sound slightly different than this straight acoustic, yeah?
Here's Louis Jake. Back in the river again. What a brilliant song, huh? Here's the walk down. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're able to learn it. Uh, I've got a couple other scullion tunes that I'm going to do for you. Uh, one second before that starts again. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you the first two chords of this tune, 18, which is really, really nice. If you play a D. Uh, but, and then you take your big middle finger off and put that on the G note. Yeah? And you put your pinky up to the fifth fret here on the uh, on the high E string. So you've got uh, that. So, so there you go. So you've got that. With all, uh, but, so, you would stretch your pinky up 
I know it's a bit of a stretch, but yeah, you can make it, right? And then you put your, uh, as I said, you put your middle finger on the G string and the low G note on the E string, and you play that note. an A, but your pinky is barring the fifth and the fifth on the, the B and E string. Yeah, so you're going, I was standing alone, waiting for something to happen. I was there on the floor, waiting for something to happen. So that's, so that's a D, D minor, F sharp minor, to a G with a D. So anyway, I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a different video. Uh, thanks very much for asking me for uh, learn that tune, because it's really worthwhile to know, and I might even consider playing it live now. So thank you, hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you learned something. Okay.